If the one thing sort of I want to talk about is, you know, there's all these genres you're ta- you know, you're working with, all these different stories and so on. How do you feel your identity as a woman, as a Nepali, um, as an immigrant, all of those, right? Um, how, how have they evolved, uh, you know, through your journey uh, in filmmaking and all of it? And what sort of is, is there like a chicken and egg sort of thing where, you know, you, your identity shapes what you make or it, like it's the other way around in a way where, uh, you know, some of the things that you create are shaping your identity? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, <laughs> I think I think it's a chicken and egg situation because, um, you know, like I said, it's, I think to me, storytelling is so unique because I've met actors that are here who've been in the different industries in different parts of the globe. But when they come here, they're like, well, you know, no one's really writing a story for me. I don't know what to do. And I'm like, you know how to create, I mean, you might have an idea of what you want to do. Just if you don't know how to write, just record your voice and send it to a writer. Let them let them do the work. Um, so in terms of what's shaping what has become more like, I'm, I think I have a very clear vision of what kind of projects I want to work with. I want to work with projects that are very diverse in the sense they have to have, you know, they can be, I can work with anyone and everyone from across the globe, but the layers have to have some kind of social impact message or there has to be some kind of, you know, some kind of um, conversation, be it mental health, be it um, LGBTQ, be it women's rights, be it immigration, like whatever these are like strong points that I really do believe in that need voices. Um, like I said, I was... I'm born of privilege. I, you know, I've been given all the privilege. I've been given an extremely loud voice. So if I'm not being an echo chamber for someone else who has a softer voice, then what am I doing? Um, Am I going to really, am I going to really thrive? And I think I thrive in chaos. I like, I like negative feedback. It sounds really weird, but I like people to tell me that this is bad. Um, because that's the only way I can grow. I know if I if someone keeps telling me, "Oh my God, you're good, you're good," then it doesn't really work. Uh, but I love when people are able to give me feedback, are able to just look at something and say, "I don't know how I feel about this," and I like to know how you feel because my thought and idea of something might not be your thought and idea of something. Um, in terms of, you know, the projects that I create, I know for a fact that I can never do justice to a story that from a girl from Bhaktapur, because I've never lived their life. Now, if they have written it and there is a certain way to be directed, then yes, I can come in. But I can't sit down and write that because that authentic juice that needs to be in a script. And you'll see it in a lot of films, actually. Like when you see it, like each hat to film the one put in an egg, there's because that authentic love is missing. So right, I know. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so I'll stay away from those projects. Um, I know what I don't like. For sure. Okay. Like what I will not That's, do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I know what I will not do. Um, I know there are certain people I will not work with. Um, okay. I need cast or crew if it's the core group. I do my homework well. I'm, I'm the kid who used to hate doing homework. Now I love doing homework. Um I like to know every single person. I like to have this very connective space on set. I think it's very, very important. Not that we even that reflects on television, you know, it's just, or on screen. Um, so those are, I think that's how I work. Um, sometimes it works for people. Sometimes it doesn't, which is okay. Because every time. Right? Yeah. Um, I don't be- believe in bo- uh, burning bridges in this industry. There's a lot of burning bridges. Um, I don't see that. I'm, you know, I was born to build a bridge. I was born, I was born, I was born in Missouri of Nepali parents who moved back to Nepal and went to India. So if you know, I'm not building, that I'm going to be burning a lot of bridges here. <laughs> uh, so I think with that mindset and that, you know, that behind my back, um, it's been easier to work uh, than this is exactly what I want to do because I'm pretty... I had my fingers in every cookie jar. Which which is nice, right? I think that's something that 
again, our community can learn that uh, there is there are multiple ways to go around it and just being open-minded about all of it, right? And being mature about it. Sometimes it, I think it's uh, age as well, where, you know, so easy to say, okay, you know, I'm dead against this and so on. And I think what maturity is, is figuring out that, you know, there's other ways to go around and so on, right? Yeah. I think in this, in, you know, the, mainly for the creative side, right? It's We become pioneers in many ways. Like before... You know, before pandemics happened, there's already what a film about like like 17 different films about pandemics. Before AI came into being, there's a whole show about AI. Yeah. So, you know, if you're going to be that person, then you should be open to feedback. I think that's also another aspect. Like, I think being open to feedback, and I think you've heard me say this in many <laughs> before, it's like being an active listener, really understanding what the other person is coming from and where they're coming from, not co- going in with, we all have our personal prejudices. You know, I, I'm i born a unicorn where I love everything and everyone, but that doesn't mean I have to disrespect someone else's boundaries and someone else's thought process, being patient enough. And that that definitely comes with age and learning where you have to be very, very patient um, in this industry. And also learn how to say, no, I'm not going to take that from you. Um, I've had moments where I've seen younger women being yelled at and I've stepped in and say, no, that's not going to work. Or I've been yelled at. And I said, and I, of course, and I was like, and I walked away. Um, so nothing. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, there are times when you have to. You literally have to say that because you can't let anyone take advantage of you. That's and everyone tries to take advantage of you here. Um, and this is, yeah, this is, and it, you're, you really, like you said, right, you're a business of your own. You are, it's not just you're owning the business, but you as a person, you're your brand, you're your business, something I, and there might be any, whoever is listening and they might kind of smile because there are moments where I've been invited in our own Nepali community and they spell my name wrong, incorrectly. Yeah. And I send it back to them and say, my name is not Kritina, it's Kirtana. Very clearly, there's an A after a T. So please, Kirtan Bada Aku Kirtan Just to it's fine now. You know, and I say it's it's a very those are very simple things too. Like being diligent, do like pay attention to details. Opening that's also another thing. <laughs> pay attention to details. Gonna you know, else some very very big projects and shows have had major full buzz because of that. So there's a there's a lot of layers, but that's just being a human being. You know, these are things you teach your kids growing up. I mean, that's what I was taught. So it's, yeah. <laughs>